Wow, that is so cool. I'm Ben Steffens. I'm 12 years old and what was the third one? Uh, what grade? Oh yeah, sixth grade. And do you like school? A little. Yeah? What are All your... depends on subjects. What's your favorite subject? Science. Sciences? Yep. Do you consider your hand science? Kind of in a way. Yeah? A really good friend, Kelly Steeper. She saw it online. It was from Dateline or CNN. And it was about another boy his age bracket who was also born with the congenital birth defect of the hand. And we watched it together, and it was pretty cool. Ben smiled, and he said that that would be cool to have. And we, then we went ahead and got a hold of Mr. Owen, Ivan Owen, the, one of the creators of the Enable Hands. And he lives here in Bellingham, Washington. And since he was so close, when we got a hold of him, we kind of briefly gave him a little bit of what Ben had been through, and he wanted to meet us and see if he could help him. And did you get to see your hand being printed, too? Um, part of it. Part. But Ben got to help put it all together himself. Because it was put separated out, and then we all, Benjamin helped string it and construct it. Was that cool for you? Yeah. Can you do things now that you couldn't do before? Not really that much, but... Yeah? You can pick things up with your camera. And hold on to things. And shake hands with it. Hmm. Yeah. You were pretty able before you got it, it sounds like. Yeah. You could take and do the other kids like your hand? Yeah. Do you get attention for it? Yeah. yeah. What do they say? Do they want attention? Um, cool. Yeah? Tell her what some of them think it is. A cyborg hand. A cyborg hand? Superheroes have bionic parts like that. Can you name any uh, mechanic parts? The only superhero I really know is Iron Man and Cyborg. I'm wondering, does Wolverine? Are those no, blades? He, those aren't are mechanic. He just has these weird cortex in his hands. Yeah. That makes him able to do that, not mm -hmm. mechanic. Yeah, there were a couple uh, villains too. Oh yeah, Victor Von Doom, um, <laughs> Brother Blood, which is a DC character, and I know a few others, just I don't remember what some of their names are. Yeah, that's cool. So you like superheroes? Yeah. Do you think one day you'll be able to put a laser or something on that? Um. That all depends. <laughs> really? Really. <laughs> Show your grab your mustache with your or your beard with the hand. Oh, very nice. <laughs> if you'd have one superhero, what would it be? Superhero power. Um X ray vision. Or both laser and X ray and then invisibility and a lot. A congenital birth defect like that happens one in every thousand to fifteen hundred babies, believe it or not, um, throughout the United States and up the world. Actually, there's a few children already here in Moses Lake who also are missing a hand due to birth defect, not not impotent, not from tragedy, but from birth defects. Um, some of them have prosthetic arms from like Shriners and stuff. He wasn't a candidate for that because of the autism. They didn't feel like it was viable because of what they offered for him and so when we got a hold of Mr. Owen he was pretty sure he could help Ben out with the assistance of his pediatrician Dr. Bobian and she helped him. Mm -hmm. She she gave the okay to go for it mm -hmm. and so we did and it seems to suit the need emotionally as well as physically mm -hmm. on being able to pick things up and make his hand now part of him. When he bends his wrist, which he does have a fully functioning wrist, five out of seven wrist bones, Mm -hmm. um, so his wrist is completely mobile and moves in lots of directions. Mm -hmm. So he's able to do a lot with it where some kids aren't able to probably function as quite as well oh, with cool. things. As a mother of a child like Benjamin, um, it needs to be their choice, the child's choice. Mm -hmm. And so age and maturity on how to respect the boundaries of what a plastic hand can do because it's not like 